Hey guys, it's Maddie from Let's Eat Plants, and today we are going to make that viral TikTok wrap hack with five different wraps. So here are the wraps we are going to be using today. As you can see, we have our rice paper wraps, homemade buckwheat wraps, which I will show you how to make today, one ingredient red lentil wraps, which I will also show you how to make today, seaweed wraps, and chickpea crepes. Now the chickpea crepes I already made a video about. I will link that in the top corner as well as in the description box below. If you wanna make the chickpea crepes, I recommend going to that video. So first up, we are going to use some buckwheat flour or you can also use whole buckwheat kernels, which I actually showed in my last What I Eat In A Day video. But for today's recipe, we're just going to use one cup of buckwheat flour, one cup of water, and half a cup of plant milk as well as half a teaspoon of vanilla because we're going to make these into sweet crepes later. And of course, I will leave the full recipe and the modifications in the description box down below. Now we're gonna take a pan on medium heat and just swirl that batter around until we get a crepe shape. Now you'll see the edges starting to peel up. That is what we are looking for. But there is something about the first crepe or the first pancake you make, I feel like, you never get it perfect on that first one. So this one actually did not turn out that well, and I realized my pan needed to be a little bit hotter. I turned it up to medium high heat, and this second crepe cooked a lot faster and much more evenly. So as you can see, the edges are starting to curl again. That shows us that it is done, ready to be flipped. Much, much better and just cook it for a couple more minutes on the second side. Now, if you need to, you can always wipe out excess crumbs with a damp paper towel before starting your next batch. Swirl that batter around, let it cook until the edges curl up, and give it a flip. And that is how we make our simple buckwheat crepes. And now onto our red lentil wraps. We will need one cup of split red lentils and two cups of water. Soak the red lentils for eight to 12 hours. And then this is very important, do not drain your liquid. So you can see my lentils here have been soaking overnight. This is the liquid they have been soaking in and we are just adding all of it, liquid and lentils, straight into the blender. And just blend that for about a minute on high speed until your batter is nice and smooth. And it should be about this consistency. And now the red lentil batter is not as liquidy as the buckwheat batter was. So as you can see, I'm just spreading out the batter with the back of my ladle, or you can also use a rubber spatula or whatever you have. But essentially you're going to want to help the tortilla into its shape by using a spoon or a spatula. So as you can see, I'm just pushing the batter out further and further towards the edges and then giving it a flip when it's ready. And now we have our red lentil wraps. Okay, so first I just wanna go over the basics of this wrap hack. Essentially, you're just going to want to make one small cut towards the center of your wrap. And once you add your filling, you'll be folding it like this. And so just keep in mind that the first two quadrants are going to be the inside of the wrap, and the last two quadrants are going to be on the outside of the wrap. So just some things to keep in mind as you are building these wraps. So we are starting off today's wraps with a Greek style wrap, and we are going to use a red lentil tortilla, and first fill it up with some hummus. You could also use some za'atar or some tzatziki if you had any. And now just using some artichoke hearts and some kalamata olives, as well as some thinly sliced red bell pepper, some fresh greens, a little bit of thinly sliced red onion, and a little extra hummus, and then fold it up. And then a popular way to eat this is to heat it first. So I decided to go ahead and heat mine in the pan, just flipping halfway through once it gets a little brown on the outside. 
And next we're going to do a Mexican inspired wrap. For the first part of this wrap, I thought I should heat up some beans and rice that I had left over. Of course, you can use any kind of grain that you like, sorghum, camu, brown rice, millet, etc. White rice was just all I had. And so I'm just mashing the black beans a little bit and adding a little chili powder, as well as a squeeze of fresh lime into the rice and some coriander, and a little bit of salsa verde to give it just a little extra flavor. And then I went ahead and heated those up in the microwave. Meanwhile, I am cutting another red lentil wrap, adding in our rice into one quadrant, beans into the next quadrant. So these two folded together will make the innermost layer. Then some jalapenos, thinly sliced red pepper again, and some avocado, which you could even do guacamole. You could do a plant-based cheese sauce here. So many options. A little bit of salt and pepper on that avocado and then fold it up. And I'm also gonna grill this one as well. Next up is our sushi wrap. For this one, we are also going to need some of that rice or whichever grain you like to use. And I'm just going to add a little bit of rice vinegar as well as some soy sauce and a little bit of wasabi for that sushi taste. Now you can see there is a shiny side and kind of a rough side on the other side. So we are gonna have the rough side up, shiny side down. And the same way, just give it a cut towards the center Add some rice onto whichever quadrants you like. So I'm doing a little bit of rice in the center of the wrap and then rice on the two outside edges, which you will see as I start to fold this. And then some avocado that will also go in the center fold. A little bit of pickled ginger. Thinly sliced cucumber. And a little bit of kimchi. I know this is not a traditional sushi ingredient, but I just love kimchi. And this is a mung bean pancake that I have previously made just to add a little bit of extra protein and then fold it up. And this of course you do not need to heat up. It is ready to eat right now. And I found that it transports really well if you wanna pack this for a lunch. Next up is our mock duck wrap. And for that, we are going to use our chickpea crepe, a little bit of hoisin sauce, some seitan that has been seasoned, but you could also use soy curls if you wanted or tofu, very thinly sliced green onions, and some cucumber. And then just fold it up. And now our Vietnamese inspired wrap. I'm just going to use rice paper. So I'm just taking a shallow dish of water and rotating the rice paper through the water. And then the same method, just cut it into the center. And we are going to add some cucumber, purple cabbage, salad greens, mung bean sprouts, carrot, our mung bean patty, and some avocado. A little squeeze of lime juice on that avocado, a little thinly sliced green onion, coriander, and a little bit of our vegan fish sauce on that mung bean patty. And then I don't know what I was doing here with that sriracha. <laughs> Definitely don't do that. <laughs> and now this wrap did not fold very well, you guys. I was not impressed with this one. It was a little bit tricky. Maybe my wrap was a little bit too wet, but I just didn't feel that it held up that well in this wrap shape although it does look really good. So because of that, I decided to wrap a second wrap, which you will see right here. So same process, just filling in our wrap. And a better way to put some sriracha in this wrap. And I found that wrapping it into more of a cone shape was a little bit easier to hold for this particular wrap. So I think if you're going to use the rice paper as a wrap, it's just a little bit easier to do it in a cone shape or in a traditional roll. And for our last wrap, we are going to make a sweet wrap. And for this, we are going to use the buckwheat wrap that we have flavored with vanilla. 
And now we're just going to take a little bit of peanut butter and we are gonna spread it all the way up on the first half. And a little bit of raspberry chia jam, which is just raspberries and chia seeds. And then I have a little bit of homemade chocolate hummus, or you could also use some baked sweet potato here or a homemade Nutella. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle a few pumpkin seeds and add some sliced banana and then fold it up. And so that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these little wrap hacks. Recipes are, of course, in the description box down below. If you did enjoy this video or found it helpful at all, don't forget to give it a like. And with that, let's eat plants, and I will see you guys next time.